Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to code 2 cross 1 multiplexer using very log language. So before that let me show you one image. This is the block of 2 cross 1 multiplexer. In this 2 cross 1 multiplexer we have two inputs i node i1 selection and then output is y. So the y is going to receive i node or i1 based on the selection line. So following to the selection truth table if s is equal to 0 i naught will be selected if s is equal to 1 i1 will be selected so in this block it is clearly mentioned that if s is equal to 0 the selection line is connected to the i node so whatever values is there in i node that value will be given to the output and if selection line is equal to 1 the selection line will come down and it will connect due to the i1 and then whatever values is there in i1 that value will be selected and it will be given to the output so this is the working of 2 cross 1 multiplexer let us go ahead and then code the 2 cross 1 multiplexer so in this EDA background in the design section I'm going to design the 2 cross 1 multiplexer so let us go ahead with module and then we have to write down the name of the module that is max right 2 plus 1 max you can give any name there is no issue with that one and then within the parenthesis we have down we have to list down the ports that means what are ports we have we have i node i1 s and y right so these are the four ports we have in the 2 plus 1 so i'm going to write down i node i1 s and y okay and then whenever you write a module make sure that you also end the module okay so after that once you have list down the port you have to declare the ports that means the ports belongs to input or the ports belongs to output so input which are the ports it belongs to input i node i1 and then selection line these are the inputs port and what are the output ports output we have y so in this case i'm going to use the assign statement that means continuous assign statement so assign y is equal to s question mark i1 colon and then i no semicolon it means uh, whenever you select s is equal to 1 it is going to select i1 okay and if s is equal to 0 then it is going to select i naught okay so this is the end of the design part let us go ahead and then write down the test bench so what is a test bench actually test bench it is a block that will generate the inputs and provide to the design and it is going to verify whether this design is working fine or not means whether the design is working correctly or incorrectly okay so this base is used so same thing module test bench and then within the bracket we don't need to give anything because in test bench they don't have a port case okay and module and then what next we have to do is that we have to declare this one okay here in the design i not i1 as other inputs but in the test bench we have to declare it as a reg that means register okay i not i1 and s and then whatever uh, the ports that is declared as output that should be declared as a wire in the test bench now we want to actually we want to design this test bench to test the design which we have uh, given as marks to correspond right so we have to instantiate that means we have to bring this design out here so we have to instantiate that means marks to cross one design under test okay you can give any name dut or x or y anything design under test and within the bracket we have to give i not i1 s and then y okay that means we are bringing this name the module name 
so we are bringing this design into the test bench now next what we have to do is that we have to initialize it okay initialize begin and means we are going to provide an input random input we can give a dedicated input or else we can also generate a random inputs but for me i'm going to give a random values so we want to repeat for five times let's say repeat five times okay begin and so in this case we have to list down the inputs so what we, what are the inputs we have i know i1 and s right so these three are the signals that need to give inputs so i have to concatenate all those things so let's use curly braces to concatenate is equal to dollar random so what dollar random will do dollar random will random the values okay and then it will provide the random values and then uh, here we are going to give a five transaction so let us put a delay of two nanoseconds for each transaction and then after this we have to view the input and output right so from there only we will know whether the design is working correctly or not so for that we have to do initial begin and and we are going to use a dollar monitor okay with the help of this dollar monitor it will help us to view the input and output so within double quotation i note format specify as binary i1 binary and selection also as binary and y binary close the double quotation and then write down i note i1 and then s and y okay so this is going to give you the output let me enlarge the size of this window now after this design let us select a simulator tools let me select synopsis and then let us run you can save it for future reference or maybe you can directly run it no problem so in this case we are getting the output so here we are getting outputs okay whenever selection is zero that means it is going to select i node right so i node is one so output is one whenever selection is one we're going to select i1 right so zero and zero if selection is one that means we're going to select i1 so one we are getting one output and selection is one so i1 is selected so zero is selected and then in the output we're getting the zero so this is the working of the two cross one multiplexer Thank you.